Hi, in this video, we are going to uh, learn about creation of territory and territory hierarchy. So in the previous videos, uh, we went through the process of how to create a territory model and we discussed about what is mean by territory model, All right? So in this video, we are going to create territories. As you see in your presentation, in your screen, uh, we have created a territory model called Pan India Sales 2024, right? In the previous, you know, hands-on session. Now we are going to, you know, creating the territories like South India, Chennai, Bangalore, and the territory hierarchy is also we are going to create. So just I wanted to remind you guys, what is mean by territory? Territory is a group of accounts and users, how the users can access these accounts, right? That is generally configured in a OWD account private model. You know, the territory will be helpful, right? Or we'll be using the territory. So any pre-request really needed before creating the territory? Yes, of course, we need to have a territory model. Then only we can create the territory, right? The territory model is a structured way of organizing the territories. And apart from that, at least we should have, you know, uh, one territory type there, right? A territory cannot be created without a territory type. So to create a territory, at least we should have a territory type. In the previous video also, we have created a territory type called customer account and parent account, right? It depends upon the business generally. So once you've created a territory, the territories will also have access for the objects, account, contact, opportunity, and case. You have an access control level for account, contact, opportunity, and case. You might have noticed, uh, you know, in the first video, while creating the, while enabling the territory management in an org itself, we had an access level for account contact opportunity case, right? That is the default access level. And if you want to override that, you can have a separate, you know, access level for your territories also. So in a territory model, each and every territory, you know, can have its own access control level for account contact opportunity and case. So how to create a territory? So you need to go to the territory model and there you can find a link called create territory. Using that, you know, you can simply create a territory there. It is not a big deal, right? Let me quickly jump to my ARG and we'll show you how to create a territory uh, there. So in the previous uh, videos, we have created territory model and territory type, right? Let me search for a territory in the search box in the setup. And it will take me to these menus. And there you can find a territory model there, right? So once you click the territory model, it will show you the already existing territory model in the org. I have only one territory model. It is in the planning stage. So what is in my planning stage? I have discussed already, right? We yet to, uh, you know, check the working nature of this territory model, right? So that's why it is your planning stage. There you can find an option called view hierarchy. If you click that view hierarchy, it will take you to the hierarchy st uh, structured way of presenting the territory model. As of now, we don't have any territory here. If you want to create a territory and you need to click the create territory under the hierarchy. So I'm going to click create territory. So we have territory model. This is the first territory I'm going to you know create. If you look at the presentation, in the presentation, you know, we have the structure like, uh, you know, Pan India Sales. This is a territory model. Under that, we need to create a territory called South India and North India. South India will have the territories, uh, you know, the hierarchical territory as Chennai, Bangalore and Hyderabad. This is what we are going to, you know, create now. So I need to create a territory called South India first, right? So I'm trying to create a territory. So I need to give the territory label, the name South India. Once I created this, automatically the name will be copied into it. Now we need to uh, select the territory type. It is a required field, right? So we have already created two territory types, right? Customer account and partner account. I'm going to choose customer account as a territory type. As I discussed earlier, territory type will help you to keep and organize the territories. It won't do any control or nothing. It is simply keep to organize or group the territories. That's it. So by default, you will have the, you know, 
parent territory as the pan india sales 2024 because we have only one territory there territory model is there and uh, territory description if you want to give definitely you need to give right as part of the best practice always uh, highly recommended to give the description it is pretty straightforward now you see the territory access level this is what i discussed right when creating the territory itself we will be having you know some territory uh you know uh, control access is there and individual territories also will have a territory access level what are the access levels you have you have the access level for account object contact object opportunity and case for account you cannot you know hide any account right so basically it means that what is the minimum level of uh, you know access level users in the territory can view account assigned to the territory whoever might be the owner irrespective of the owner if any account is assigned to the territory the users can be able to see that right that is the you know view access if you when if you go for users in this territory can view and edit assigned to this territory then irrespective of the ownership you are giving the permission for the territory users to edit that account right similarly if you want to transfer and delete also you have that option so the least uh, you know configuration access level is at least the territory members uh, you know users should be able to see all the account records in the territory when comparing with the account access level if you look at the contact access level you have the first option as users in this territory cannot access contacts that they do not own that are associated within the account in this territory let's say there is a account called burlington textile assigned to the territory called south india okay under that account we have five accounts under that sorry under that accounts we have five contacts so i am a user user is naga so naga is a owner of only one contact remaining four contacts are owned by someone else called garg if that is a case i don't want you know naga to see all the uh, other contacts that is owned by garg if that is a case you will be going for the first option so you can control the contact records you know visibility right that's what the simple takeaway point you can control the visibility based on the ownership for contact you can control the same for opportunity and you can control the visibility for the same for case also the remaining things are going to be the same view all opportunities or edit and you know or transfer is not there that and you need to, to take care of that transfer is there only for account we don't have a transfer option for contact opportunity or you know even for case also this is how you need to create a simple territory so if i click save a territory will be created for me when explaining these things i have told each territory will have its own access level similarly in the territory settings also initially while enabling the territory also we had the access level this is called the default access level right if you want to override the default access level then definitely you can do that in your territory so individual territories can have their own access level on top of account contact opportunity as well as case you will be having a default access level also okay that's fine so we have created one territory and the territory is called south india right now you can see the territory called south india under uh, pan india sales 24 this is the territory model that's a root right under that we have one territory if you expand south india you know you cannot see anything there because there is no child territory as of now created for south india i wanted to create a you know territory under south india okay as a child for south india for example from the architecture you know you are able to see under south india we have a territory called chennai bangalore and hyderabad suppose if you want to create a chennai or hyderabad or a bangalore as a territory then you need to identify your parent territory under that you need to create that so i am going to click the create territory you know link which is under which is near south india right so i'm going to create one more territory this time i'm going to create it as a hyderabad territory right hyderabad hyderabad territory and that is what i am trying to create okay territory i'm going to create and the territory type i can select the customer account or partner account i keep it customer account now look at the parent territory automatically it is mapped to south india right so if you want to change that you can change this but as of now we have only one territory model there right so we have created under that 
South India territory we have created, right? So it is going to be the parent going to be the parent territory. Now for the childs also you can have a access level. That's what you know I explained, right? You can have the access level for the parent territory, and you can have a separate access level for your uh, child territories also. So if I click save, automatically a child territory will be created. So if you go to the you know hierarchies, definitely you can able to see the hierarchies information. So we will see in the next video how to assign users and how to uh, you know assign accounts. So now I'm coming back to the territory model. So if I go for view hierarchy, now I can see the parent as Pan India. That's a territory model. Under that I have a territory called South India. Under that I have an another territory called Hyderabad. Right? South India has its own you know configurations and uh, territory access levels and uh, account configuration as well as user configuration will be there and the child configurations is our child territories also will have its own uh you know access level as well as accounts associated with it and users associated with it okay so in the next video we will be seeing how to you know assign an account and users to this territories what we have created so far if you are interested to learn salesforce visit aj skill development website there you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offering we are offering salesforce administrator and salesforce development courses to know about us and the team you can visit our about us section this is an organization we are doing at salesforce training from 2018 and we have trained out and guided 2000 plus candidates so far and if you also want to know about our placement assistance visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category you can see the list of people who got uh trained and placed from our site you can also visit their linkedin pages to get to know about our trainee and also the feedback from the relevant trainees okay and also if you want to do the course inquiry click on contact us you will see the form you can fill the form and submit the inquiry our team will get back to us thank you